So here we're going to learn about the gesture sensor. And it is part of the sensor set from the Grove Inventor Kit. And what it is is a little sensor that is going to allow us to wave at it or move in different directions. And something will happen based upon the type of gesture that we do. So it's a nifty little sensor. So what you're going to need for that is you're going to need your gesture sensor. You're going to need a four pin cable. You're going to need your micro bit. As always, you're going to need a Grove Shield, and you're going to need a USB micro connector to help transfer the file from your computer to the micro bit and to power everything. So, usually the first thing we need to do is, if we're not sure if the micro bit knows about the sensor, is we often will need to install an extension. So we're going to type Grove in our extensions list, and we've done this before. You, it's, if you, this is the first video you're watching. You'll have to go to Advanced. You go to Extensions. And you're going to have to type the word Grove. And it's going to be this first block that pops up. And you can see in there, there's our little extension right there for our Grove Gesture Sensor. And now I've got a Grove block installed in my coding blocks. And when I click on that, there's going to be two that we're going to use a lot of. The first is Init Gesture. What that is going to do is tell the micro bit that, hey, you've got a gesture sensor attached to yourself. So that's going to go in the on start. And again, the on start block is the first thing that the program runs. And that's going to tell the micro bit that to initialize the gesture sensor. Then also under Grow, see where it's got this block on gesture and notice it's a square block right it doesn't fit in say the forever block it just won't go right there's no place for it to go so it's a program that is always going to be running just like your forever block so it's kind of always running in the background so what I can do is say on gesture right let's do something so I'm gonna do my basic block and I'm gonna show a heart icon now, if I want to do something else, let's go grab that block again. And I'm going to say on gesture left. Let's go up here to basic and let's show an icon. Let's say I don't like left. So let's say show a frowny face. So I like right, I don't like left. Okay. Notice we don't need anything in the forever loop because these two blocks are shaped exactly the same as our forever loop. These things are always running in the background. So let's download it. Okay. I'm going to plug in my micro bit. Good, I'm getting power. And the computer found the micro bit. Okay. So now let's go. Alright, so now I'm in my downloads folder. So there's my micro bit gesture right at the top and here's my micro bit. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to drag my micro bit over. Alright, so the file's there. So now I should be able to come over here to my gesture sensor and have something happen. So it looks like I've got a frowny face for right now. So I'm going to go right, and I'm going to go left. Alright, usually the trick is figuring out which way is right and left on the sensor. So when you're looking at it, you'll see a little square, kind of looks like a little hole in it. You're going to hold that parallel to you. And then I'm going to go right and left, and I should get changes. So when I go right, I get a heart sign. When I go left, I get a frowny face. Right. Right. So if I wanted to do something else, I could go into my Grove and put in another gesture block, and I can say... 
And let's say on up, I want to show an icon. Say... Uh, check mark. Okay. So, same process. I'm going to download it. I'm going to go into my downloads folder. There's my micro bit, micro, micro bit gesture. And notice it's put a 1 on it because it's the same file name. And I'm going to drag it to my micro bit. There we go. My light's flashing. So now let's give this a test when it's done. Okay. So let's go right. Let's go left. And now let's go up. I got a check mark. Right. Left. Up. Alright. So as you can tell when you go into the gesture, there's a lot of options that you can play with. So you just play around with them. You can do clockwise, counterclockwise, you can wave at it, and you can cause things to happen. This is really one of our first if-then type of programming interfaces that we're going to run to, even though we're not using an if-then statement. But what we're really doing is that concept, is that if I move right, do this. If I move left, do something else. If I go up, do this. In essence, these are if-then statements, just not written as such.